One of the most common questions I get asked as a pianist is, how do you remember so many notes? And the short answer is, I don't. The slightly longer version is, I don't have to. Or at least, I don't have to remember them as individual notes. Music is a language, and just like in other forms of language, there are lots of levels of organization. When I'm reading or speaking English, I'm almost never thinking about individual letters. At the very least, I'm probably thinking in whole words, sentences, or even broader terms, like some abstract idea that I'm trying to express. If I encounter an unfamiliar word, I might briefly pay attention to the individual letters, but my brain is immediately going to start trying to make sense of the word as a whole. I might compare it with other words I already know, take a guess at its pronunciation and meaning, and try to understand its role in the broader context of the sentence or paragraph where I found it. And as long as the text I'm dealing with contains mostly words that I already know, I can easily process dozens of individual letters as a single unit. Music works in exactly the same way. No individual note is ever completely isolated from its surroundings. Rather, groups of notes come together to form larger units, such as chords and phrases. These units can be organized into even larger structures like chord progressions and phrase groups, to name just a few. And these higher level structures are what I mostly think about when I'm playing the piano. The more notes I can group together into a single unit, the fewer units I have to remember to be able to play the whole piece. And, even more importantly, the less often I have to think about what comes next. If I'm trying to remember 8 or 10 individual notes every second, I'm not going to be able to do it. But if my brain only has to send a new batch of instructions to my fingers every few seconds, I might be able to keep up. But wait, if I'm just thinking about the big picture when I play, doesn't that mean that most of the details are going to get lost along the way? Well, not necessarily. When I'm performing, time is in short supply, so I've got to think fast. But when I'm practicing, time essentially stands still. At least in theory, I can spend as much time as I want picking apart every phrase, gesture, and detail. And thanks to muscle memory, the more I practice the details ahead of time, the less I have to think about them when I'm actually performing. In fact, muscle memory is actually responsible for most of what I do when I play the piano. Because it takes so little conscious thought, it's great for remembering details. But for precisely the same reason, it can be unreliable, making it a terrible way to memorize a whole piece. Playing difficult music is a bit like navigating through a maze. There are lots of twists and turns, which means lots of opportunities to get lost. If I'm just relying on muscle memory, I might get lucky and make it through okay, but it's much more likely that I'll get mixed up and take a wrong turn somewhere along the way. But if I know the structure well, my brain can run ahead of my fingers and block off paths that I know lead to dead ends. And as long as my brain stays a step ahead, all the notes will make it safely through to the other side. Well, maybe not all of them. Brains aren't perfect. <laughs>